Welcome to Cooking with Timotainment. Today we are going to be making a normal cake. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary about this cake. Nope, we're going to be baking a normal, normal cake here with normal cake ingredients. And then we are going to fill the middle with beans. I got my brush. I got my uh, mixture here. Whoa, it's another angle. What is this sorcery? Now we're going to flour these. You're gonna, my cat's staring at me right now. She's looking at me. Yes, we are going, it is going to be baked beans. It's time to start assembling our cake. Now we're going to do it right here in this mixing bowl. How do you, I got, I did, I've done this before. Oh, here we go. There we go. In this bowl right here, we have our two cups of all purpose flour. We're going to get to the beans, okay? But you have to be patient. Patience is a, is the, is the most, is the, patience. All right, we have our three cups of sugar. Now you'll notice that this sugar is very specific and that it is out of focus. We are using very low resolution sugar today. Notice how blurry it is. You don't want any of that nasty high resolution sugar stuff, only low resolution sugar. All right, and we're just gonna pour that in. This is what was butter but is now a, a pool of egg looking substance. Just pour all that stuff in. Today we are using almond milk that also happens to be very low resolution as you can see. Alrighty, now we need to add baking powder. Now, for those of you who don't know what baking powder is, I don't either. Again, only low resolution ingredients. As I always say, the blurrier, the better. Here's my salt. And now we need two teaspoons of a little thing called vanilla extract. Now this is vanilla extract and I, um, Oh boy. It's so, it's so slippery. Oh, I can't even like get a, oh, maybe we just won't use vanilla extract. Can't open it, it's fine, we'll just skip it. We need six eggs, six of them. Per tradition, I am going to uh, meow at every single one of them. Three, two, one, meow! That's one done. Three to go. Meow! Two down. Three to go. Meow! Oh, that's all right. As I always say, three is a crowd, but a dozen eggs. All right, that's three down. Two to go. Meow! Oh, all right, that's four down, three to go. Meow! Five down, three to go. Meow! And with that, the eggs are done. Oh! It's 
incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Two teaspoons, vanilla extract. Oh, it spilled a little, that's all right. All right, we're beat, it says beat on low speed. We're going to stir it very carefully, all right? Then we're going to, uh, what does it say? I, I mean, uh, I'm not using a recipe, I'm using my, my, in, my intuition. I'm not using, this piece of paper right here is not a recipe. We're gonna beat on high for three whole minutes. Yeah, there we go. The beans do not come yet. No, 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 the beans do not come yet, you guys. As I've always said, patience is a patient and you will be rewarded if you stick if you stick by that motto we are done so let's take this bowl out now all right and we're going to try and evenly distribute this mix in uh in these three baking sheets sort of pour it in a little more in this one the beans are coming i promise you I promise you the beans are coming. You just gotta be patient. We're gonna put these bad boys in the oven. Just like that. And now, we wait. We're about to make frosting. We need three sticks of butter, five cups of sugar, one pinch of salt, no more, no less. Uh, a quarter. We need a. We need milk, and we need vanilla extract. I have three sticks of butter, right here. This is our sugar. Okay, so you fir The first things first is we put in our butter. All right, we got one more. Mix, okay, cream the butter. Okay, I get it. Wait, when, when does the milk come in? Oh, I guess you're supposed to, you're supposed to put the cream in now, okay, which is milk. Gently add the Whoa, okay. I got a, I got a little thing of salt right here. That, that was probably a lot of salt. This is a tablespoon. We need a total of four teaspoons. So we're just gonna do that and then do, oh wow, it's dripping everywhere. Get all the buttercream in there. Right, I guess this is buttercream, right? Buttercream frosting. There's a little bit of sugar at the top. I will tell you guys now, there is an age old trick that I learned at my very first day at the Cuisine to Cuisine about making excellent cakes, all right? The test is in the oven, you take them out. You put a toothpick in the cake. If you can pull the toothpick out, without any residue, that means the cake is done. So we're gonna do the toothpick test whenever this timer's done, which is two seconds, two, two minutes. It's not mathematically possible because Tim isn't real. Yeah, they, they are, can you, can you see how raw they are? See all that residue on there, <laughs> that low resolution cake? They're gonna need probably about 15-ish minutes. Um, Somebody named Mitt Romney followed me, and it's spelled completely correctly. Always remember, never buy any high-resolution products, all right? You, if you cannot trust the brand if they don't take the resolution out. These days, it's mostly just artificial resolution, and, you know, the, 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 the regulations on it are very lax. 
So you can, they can say high resolution when it is in fact synthetic, artificial resolution. This is the test right here. Oh, look at that. Nothing on our low resolution toothpick. I'm going to turn the oven off. Wait, that's, how do I, I just want to turn it off. There we go. Behold our cake tray. I'm going to cut a hole in the center and then I'm going to fill it with beans. We're going to cut a big circle and this will be where we add our beans. Oh, that's really hot. Jeez. It smells amazing. That looks good. Whoa. Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to take this. I'm going to go like that. I guess you flip it over. Oh, there we go. We're just frosting the cake. We're going to take this bad boy right here. We're going to unlock it. Carefully take this cake and fold it over like that. Whoa, don't break, don't break, don't break. Please don't break. Please do not break. Now you're probably wondering at this point, are we ever going to get to the beans? Well, you know how I told you that, that patience is a, you know, the, you know the rest. Well, your patience is about to be rewarded because I have for you Two cans of organic, low-resolution, bushes, baked beans. You're supposed to hear like a pop when it's cut all the way through, I, which I think I have done. Now we grab it, and it should. Yeah, there we go. Our low-resolution beans. I, I want to make sure it doesn't like fall out too much. Oh, it's already spilling a little bit. That's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take them and we're going to place them in the cake. This is the moment you've all been waiting for, guys. I think one can will be enough. All in there. Oh, isn't it so beautiful? We have our final layer here. Okay. All right. <laughs> now let's do our frosting. The frosting is your friend. All right, you have to respect the frosting. Look, frosting, you just got to trust me. You have to trust me that everything will be all just perfectly okay. It's not the prettiest looking cake, but uh, it is a cake. Happy birthday. Care for a piece of cake? There you are. Your bean cake. Look at it. It's so good. Now we are going to taste this. You guys ready? See this? See this bite? Here goes nothing. Um. Yeah, don't, uh, don't, don't do this. There's a reason, um, that people, uh, don't make this ladle a couple beans on the top.
Behold, the bean cake. Do not try this at home. Do not make this.